Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited because finally my scroller box has arrived. Yay! So I've been waiting for this for ages. I feel like an eternity. But I'm so glad that the scroller box team are still sending out boxes even though they've got short staff and all that. So shout out to them. Thank you for still sending me a scroller box even though with all the dramatic things that are happening anyway, I won't dawdle on it because we're here for some fun. Um, I heard that this is a good school box. It sounds like there's a, pen a couple of pencils in here, but I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. <gasps> okay, this is, sorry, but this is beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. And it does look like colored pencils. <laughs> okay, so this is by Angelica Schlup, Schlup, no, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm just really bad at stuff like that. But there are the, social media links if you want to go give them a follow okay oh my bag's all torn no no this is torn okay that's fine oh what's this oh right so i always call this a zine but loads of people i know say zine but obviously i am not down with the kids anymore so i don't know how to pronounce it so if someone could tell me in the comments below that would be great oh wow so are we getting this instead of the menu? I believe so. Oh, spoilers. Oh, oh, that's so cool. There's like, sit down with your April featured artist. That's really cool. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna read this later. So let's see, we've got the A5 watercolor paper, which is 300 GSM cold pressed, and we've got eight sheets. And this is by Schoolbox, I believe. Oh, wow, that is, that is thick paper. And then we have the scroll box sticker which is just like a mini version of that art we got earlier. I love actually, oh, I just can't, I love it. Oh and we have got another menu in here, that's that's cool. So the one in the zine, zine, whatever you want to call it thing, um, is just kind of quick explanations and then this is more in depth. Ooh. Banana split eclair. Yum yum. Be eating that later. Okay, let's see what we've got. The first things that jump out at me are these pens. And these are the Faber Castell something I can't pronounce, watercolour markers. I'm not even gonna try because I'll just offend so many people. Highly pigmented, uh, light fast, water-based ink. They are dual tip markers with a flexible brush tip at one end and a bullet nib at the other. Oh, okay, so we can dilute these with water. That's great, okay. I've never used watercolor pens before. So there is the bullet nib, the brush nib even. And then this is the bullet nib, this side. Okay, the next thing I see, oh, just put that back on there. Uh, is the Pro Art Polar 31 white nylon brush. Synthetic brush, does it say? Let's have a look at the menu again. Round brush number six. Then we have our graphite pencil. So this is a professional quality graphite sketching pencil. It's perfect instrument for all artists. It's perfect for creating bold line drawings and freestyle sketches. And next, these pencils. I cannot pronounce these for the life of me. Um, they're watercolor pencils with extra thick lead. So ideal for covering large areas. They are highly light fast and create a soft but saturated lay down of color. Okay, that's cool. So we've got emerald green. Um, Deep scarlet red and walnut brown. Okie dokie. 
Okay, so this is everything that we got in the April school box. Um, I'm really happy that they've got the design zine thing. Um, and I'm interested to see what kind of things I can make with these items. So I'm gonna go grab some water so I can dilute things and then I'll probably swatch and test things out in my sketchbook and then we'll move on to the drawing phase. Okie dokie. So let's test these out. I think I'll do them on this page just because there's a little gap down here. Okay, I'm not really liking the feel of this pencil all that much. Like it kind of reminds me of charcoal pencils and it doesn't say it's a charcoal pencil. Um, I think the charcoal pencils that I have are Derwent as well and it, no, it just doesn't, yeah, I'm not really enjoying that pencil all too much. These are actually really soft. They feel really nice, even though I know they're meant for watercolour. Okay, let's test some water with those and see what happens with the brush. Okay. Ooh, that picks up really quickly. Yeah, see, what I don't like about watercolour pencils is that you can still see the brush marks of um, the stroke marks of the pencil. But that isn't too bad. A little bit of work. Mm, that's pretty. So if we draw that onto a palette and then water it down, that should look really nice. I wonder if this sketching pencil is water resistant. Oh, I picked up some of the pen there. Whoopsie. Mm, not really. Well, a little bit. It still picks up a tiny bit, but that's kind of good news. So the schooler box, ugh, the schooler box challenge this month is daydreamer okay so i think i have an idea of what i kind of want to do and it's inspired by this so i think i'm going to do a portrait similar to this um and we'll see how it goes i'm just going to come wing it see what happens so off we go
And there we go, guys. That is my finished illustration. It was actually quite challenging to use these pencils. Um, I'm not used to using watercolour pencils. I usually use paint straight out of the tube. Um, so this was a bit more challenging for me. But I do like how it turned out. The concept I really enjoyed. So I might remake this as a oil painting because... I find that easier to use but yeah I had a lot of fun with these art supplies and I'll definitely be using these in the future so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye